Oh. It could be a shit one. It is indeed a shit one. Um, God, this one's, this one's long, man. It's probably not worth it. It doesn't? It should have given me a quest. Unless I've done this already. I don't think I have, though. There it is. Is it worth it? Ah, fuck. Fuck. What, what, what do you think, Healer? Yeah, I guess we'll go. I guess we'll do the dungeon. We'll see how fast we can do it. So here's the plan, guys. We're gonna just run through this as fast as possible. Um, there's no dungeon, or there's no bonus experience anymore. The bonus experience has gone down from 30% while in the open world down to... I don't even know what it's at. 15, though? I think, yeah. 15%. So that sucks. Uh, I should have leveled a lot more when, you know, the war mode bonus was a little bit higher. I'm sure it'll go back up eventually, but there's just a lot of people playing right now because of the new raid. I think that's how it works. I, mean, I think that's how the war mode bonus works, like, the more people... It's like faction and bounce, because they're trying to balance, I guess, the fact that there's almost, like, no alliance players whatsoever. Because who wants to play alliance? So then they gave everyone the bonus, and now we're, we're rolling with the bonus. And then they got reduced, so now we're freaking out about it. Uh, where, what, <laughs> where, where are they coming from? Oh boy, I might die here. Never mind, I am golden. I have no clue where those came from. And I'm still waiting. I know I have it, or I get it soon. Where's my dang heal? Okay, level 40. Level 40 seems like a really far time. Really long time, but... When you're actually leveling, I mean, I'll probably get at least a level from this. Probably a level. If I could kill these things a little bit faster, it would be helping as well, but... Can't make the DPS hit harder. I think I left my healer back there. It's not a good, not a good thing I did there. How are you? How are you gaining aggro now? I'm spamming AOE spells. There we go. Apparently they've also nerfed protection, which I've yet to see, really. At least in Battlegrounds. On my pally, that's or in max level. Because at low low level PvP, like it should not be used ever to just ever to balance anything. Low level PvP has been super fucked ever since Cataclysm, in my opinion. Just too much changed. It was really just hunters that fucked everything. <laughs> just early Cataclysm hunters still make me laugh. Because it was such a shit show. It's a fun one though. Just slaying rock guys. This is all this is. I'm pretty sure there's the giant rock guy up there I'm going to kill. And then there's rock guys on the way to the princess rock lady. God, I hate this dungeon. Am I in a tree right now? Probably. I don't even know, like, what I'd do. I don't know. This is, like, one of the better Mardon uh, instances. There's Because there's, like, 20 of them around there. There's a lot more. One, two. I'll get more as I keep leveling. And Dire Maul. So Mardon and Dire Maul are just like the worst thing to ever fucking happen in the game. Um, at least a random dungeon finder. I don't like them whatsoever. I feel like they, they just take way too long. The mob density is horrible. The quest XP is bad. Uh, the only reason I'm actually doing this right now is for the dungeon completion XP, which I do get from queuing for just a random classic dungeon. So, yeah, and I don't know, with the reduced XP, I'd say dungeons might be a little bit faster than leveling now, but leveling's probably still really, really fast. But it's only 15% gone from, I guess, what we had a week or two ago, which isn't horrible, but it is still reduced. 
And I was trying to level this guy as fast as possible. So, kind of sucks that it's gone, but not much we can do about it. See how well we can hold aggro on these two. I'm still waiting to get all of my talents and traits and whatnot. Because I can just feel my rotation. At least when it comes to Shield of the Righteous and I guess like... My, what is it, a hundred tree that should? Shield of the Righteous reduces the cooldown of Avenging Wrath. Not that one. Maybe it's just a normal town. There's a normal town that just... I think it's whenever I judge it, I reduce the cooldown of my Shield of the Righteous. And I just don't have it yet, so... There's a lot of downtime, like right now. Just nothing to do. Except auto-attack. Press Judgment whenever it's up. And then throw Consecration down. Hey, there's a level. That's not bad. We'll see if we'll get another one once we finish the dungeon. What do I need to replace here? Ring. Just a lot of rings, really. Ring and belt. I've had that belt for a while. At least I used my shield before that, so I'll take a little bit reduced damage from these. God damn, I feel like a mythic raider. Imagine, this is what like hard dungeons were in vanilla. I mean, obviously a lot harder because our spells didn't hit nearly as hard as they do now. But it's close. So <laughs> it's not fucking close at all. I've ran this dungeon so many times. I remember. God, I think I was. I think it was a leveling series that I played on on this dungeon before. The last time I played this dungeon. And I feel like he was a paladin, too. I don't know. I've leveled too many tunes. Apparently, they're also thinking of increasing the level cap. Or not the level cap. The character cap on a single server to 50 on a single server, so... That'll be interesting. If that actually happens, then I guess I'll level more horde tunes on Zul'jin, but... We can also just level tunes on other servers after that. Nothing. I think those hands are an upgrade. It was so weird when they made it so you could use plate. Because now you use plate as soon as you level, right? Like, it, I think at level 1 you're wearing plate. When it used to be, like, level 40 you can use plate. Or, I, don't, I think it was level 40 you'd learn how to use plate. For a while. Like, you'd start with mail and you'd slowly progress up to plate. And now it's just, oh, uh, you got plate armor now. Same with dual wielding though, like you used to be, have to be level 10 to, I guess, learn the dual wield thing from the rogue trainer. But now you just, you know, you spawn in with dual wields. Same with pets too. You used to have to wait till level 10. Game's changing. Game's changing a lot. And half of us are just waiting for classic. There's already people just hating on, <laughs> it's not even out yet, people just hate on classic already. I think it's pretty funny. It's, I don't know. Some people won't like Classic, that's undeniable. There's a lot of people that'll probably come back to WoW just to play Classic, though. Just for those endless hours, just spent and doing nothing, just playing with pixels on a screen. Do, 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 do. Skip those random people. There's also a rare. I don't think it's an actual rare, but there's a crocodile down there. Crocodile Dundee. I think he's down there somewhere. There he is. Rot Grip. Getting unlucky with the proc saw, oh, there's one. I do think Blessed Hammer helps a lot with uh, dungeon DPS. At least multi mob DPS, it helps so much. It's way better than Hammer of the Righteous. At least for dungeons. When it comes to just single leveling, 
Maybe in, like, Legion content I'll go back to Hammer of the Righteous or something, but I don't even know. I don't even plan on, like, doing dungeons in Legion. I don't think it would really be worth it. Leveling in Legion's gonna be so dog shit. Forgot there's still invasions, isn't there? I wonder how that'll work. I wonder if they still give a level. I don't know. I haven't leveled since, like, the big leveling changes that were implemented, like when they revamped Northern and, and all that stuff. I think just right before that was the last time I leveled. I was leveling my Shaman, that's what it was. And then I heard about the leveling, like, change happening. But I think that was when Outland, the Outland and Northern leveling thing got changed, so. Then I was like, oh, well, fuck this Shaman. And I was doing a leveling series on him as well. And you'll see it on the channel if you really look for it, but... Yeah, that guy's in the ditch now. He's, he's dead. No longer in my thoughts. Probably because it's a dwarf shaman. I also wanted to make him a dark iron dwarf. And then, like, I had to be in alliance with the quest completed to be a dark iron, so then I just kind of gave up. I was like, why the, why the fuck am I playing a dwarf shaman if I can't be a dark iron? That was the last, <laughs> like, pretty accurately the last thought I had probably on that shaman before I stopped playing him. Which is surprising, because normally I'd think I'd never... I don't think I'd ever would have thought that I wouldn't play a class just because I can't play a certain race on them. It's getting pretty close to that with uh, Xandalari, so I'm, I'm fucking tired of being a Torn. It's horrible. I don't fit through doors. All my transmog looks horrible. Half the helmets on my guy just look retarded. I don't know. It's a love-hate relationship, I'd say, with, uh... Prop Pally and... Well, Prop Pally because he's my cow, but... Torrens. Torrens are so bad. I just want Xandalari Pallies. They haven't released them yet. It's just, it's just a big feels bad. I have to wait till 8.1.5. I thought it was whenever the raid was done. Well, we've killed Jaina. I mean, World First is out. Maybe it's next content patch. I'm pretty sure it is. Of course, that's going to be a few months, though. And, uh, a few months feels like... Feels like <laughs> way too long for a content patch. Just for races, really. That should have been available from the start. Thank you. And we turn in the quest. 4,000 experience. That's, like, nothing. Wowie. Uh, do we get anything good? No. That sucks. Well, goodbye. People. I want to see how much XP I got. Nice. I got about two levels, actually. So, well, a whole level, I'd say, because that was about 70. I don't know. I got a level from grinding, then I got another level just from completing the dungeon. Uh, we're probably going to go kill Crocolix and then finish these two quests and then hit level 38. So, we'll go do that right now. Oh, shit. It's the rare. So, this is the rare spawn that I talked about, I think, the last time I made a video. I was like, yeah, sometimes there's just a rare spawn in the road. And here he is. We'll pick him up before uh, before another person picks up this hitchhiker off the road. If we're lucky, he'll drop a really good transmog thing. If we're not so lucky, then he'll just drop a normal green thing. And then we'll probably just sell it to uh, whatever. Nice. Got a level. And we get freedom, though. Good stuff. Good. Alright. So... Here's where things get a little bit... Just a tiny bit more interesting. Not even, because fucking grinding's actually horrible to watch. Uh, we're gonna pull all these guys. I actually hate this quest. <laughs> There's so many quests that I just hate. Just because I've repeated them so many times. And this is one of them. I think this quest has not changed since Kata. I mean, all of these quests haven't changed since Kata. Some of them have, actually. No, that's false. None of them have. I think these guys, maybe it's the rare spawn in there. I don't think it's a rare spawn, but... Well, there is a rare spawn that is spawning in there, but... Um, anyway, these guys dropped their chromatic sword, or did for a little bit. That it, Like, it used to be some super rare sword that got taken off the loot table. And then it got put back on, so people are farming it here. Or at least I thought they were for a decent amount of time, and now it looks like it's died down a little bit as well. I don't know. We'll, we'll just run in there. We need an iron jaw... Iron Jaw Humor. 
You're looking for humor in the wrong place here. I feel like my Avenger shield hits way harder in a not dungeon than in a dungeon. Alright, let's find this last... I think... I think it's just like a giant version of these Crocolisks. Behemoth sounds familiar. Okay. And then if we're lucky, there will be like a special colored Crocolisk guy. And we're not lucky. <laughs> Whatever. Maybe he spawns in a different area. I don't think he actually does, so I think we're just fucked, but... So we need a behemoth. I think you're one. Yes, you are. Oh, I remember why this quest can be annoying, because these guys stun. Stunned and taking double damage from my ray. Will this kill me? Oh my. I knew there was a reason I hated this quest. I remember a strong, just, passion of hate for this quest, and just fully reminded of why now. Alright, let's see. I don't really remember what the next part of this quest is. Pretty sure I just talk to these guys, and I get a quest to turn in something that I don't have to move for, if I remember correctly. Or I just get a ton of quests. See you soon. Uh, I guess it was that one. Pure water. Okay, I remember this part now. I remember. Alright, well, I'm gonna end the video here, guys. If you guys liked it, uh, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, description, thing, bell thing. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.